Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dwarven Tavern review. This is a continuation of the Pirates of Drynax. Drynax, 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 take your pick. This is a boxed set, obviously, the box as you can see. And it goes for $99.99 and you can get it from Mongoose Publishing, which is a great group of guys. I like them a lot. Matt uh, Sprange is a fantastic guy. That doesn't mean the quality of the work is good. It just means he's a good guy. It just is a it's it's a happy happenstance that the work they put out at Mongoose is uh, exceptional. I, I know a lot of uh, really good guys who don't put out good work and doesn't keep them from being good guys. And good work doesn't mean you're a nice guy either. So it all depends on everything else you do. Um, but uh, the last review uh, the, in this in this series, uh, we're going to take a look at this book, which is the uh, Ships of the Reach, which is a collection of uh, Ships of the Reach as you might uh, might have suspected from the title the titular character is the ships of the reach so we'll we'll just dive right into it it's uh let's see it is 96 pages counting the index so and it is just it's it is just that it is a collection of ship blueprints starting with uh, the an explanation of the ships of the reach uh, the high guard aslan the ships of the aslan and the ship index and deck plan keys and uh, it is it is in the format as you can see it is in the format of all, all the other ship and vehicle books which again that familiarity you, you know what you're looking for so when you when you open this book you're not greeted with Times New Roman where you're in this book and you're greeted with like black cherries or, you know, some some sort of wedding script. And it's like, what am I looking at with different formats? No, it's it's they keep it. They do a very good job keeping a standard with each one has a, uh, a map a floor plan, deck plan with all of the uh, specifications of the ship. And uh, it it is replete with really cool designs and i would love to know what uh what program they use to uh to design these uh these these deck plans because i think it would be be great if they could do like an online uh and matt if you're listening to this it'd be great if they did an online ship designer that you could use to design your own traveler ships i mean they have a lot of ships so you know i mean of course you know you could have a you could have a catalog of a thousand ships and still say you know i would like to design my own because people are like that they, they like to design their own stuff even though there are a large number of pre-designed things which to me that makes or breaks a game in in reality because if you have a uh, if you have a game system that nothing is provided except the rule on how to make things you generally won't a lot of people do and that's fine i mean this is all about personal preference i mean all of this yay and nay and like and dislike and all this stuff is is incredibly subjective i was telling someone uh not too long ago that uh, having having been in the the, the, the music industry for as long as I have, which is literally decades. You come to learn that every that no matter what you no matter what you do, someone is going to absolutely hate it, and someone is going to just completely love it, adore it. So you know, being in the in the public with anything you do, you're you're going to get adoration and despite, or you're going to get hated, <laughs> vehemence. So the ship designs uh, for for a long time it seemed like Traveler was uh, all about that wedge shape. Uh, a lot of things were wedge shaped, and and it you know it's like well is that the only ship they got? And that's why I guess a lot of folks would want to design their own because they got tired of the Star Destroyer design. In you know can I see something in an, an extra small or an extra medium? <laughs> Stephen Wright. But uh, in this book there are like the Queen Elizabeth class liner on page 37 complete with deck deck plans the Ulfidnar class escort carrier on page 41 and so forth the Ritchie class escort none of these ships are wedge shaped the Galoof class mega freighter incredibly cool so yeah uh, the the ships that they have created for this are just uh, it, they're just a joy to look at highly enjoy all of the different ships now when we get to the Aslan the Aslan ships we get into Aslan 
designs, which are kind of uh, kind of spearhead. Uh, some of them are asymmetric. Some are wedged, wedge shaped. Some are not. But you still have the 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 Aslani uh, signature markings and design traits. Uh, even though, and you know, that's that's got to be hard to do. Uh, say, I want this to look. As Lanny, without even talking about, there's a script on the ships that you know says As Lanny. Well, it doesn't actually say As Lanny. It's As Lanny script, like a uh, Cyrillic or something. It's in their language. So, aside from that, you know, you can you can look at these and say, oh, that looks that looks like it might be an As Lanny ship because you know in uh, World War II they had uh, they had these. Uh, for submarines and other ships as well, they had these uh, charts of what the silhouette looks like because the ships all look kind of alike, except the fact that you uh, you can't actually see the ship up close, blah, blah, blah. So you got to see and, and all the ships look alike. So without the profile, the silhouette chart, you couldn't tell one ship from the other. This is, is it's very well done. This is a very well done book. I mean, when I say that's all it is, I don't mean that there's nothing else to it, but th this is this is all it is. It's just ships and uh, it's a good assortment. And uh, you know, I don't know what the book, this book would be by itself. It would definitely be worth it because I'm all about those. The, the more ships, the better. Uh, the one thing that has always really bugged me about video games is that, you know, you're playing a military game, not Call of Duty, but uh, when you're playing uh, a lot of military games, especially sci-fi games, you've got the shotgun, the assault rifle, the laser pistol or whatever, and you don't have a million different variations, which is what it would be in that case i mean if you look at the uh, the assortment of guns that we have available in you know in the world right now not even counting different countries there's a there's a million different designs and uh even though you know you've got <laughs> the hundred thousand different uh weapons that fire the nine millimeter luger <laughs> you still have you know a million different guns that that fire that so the ships of the reach is uh, is definitely a five-star book there's nothing there's nothing detracting from it they they did a fantastic job of making individual ships to follow a theme right it follows a theme it keeps the ships individualized it doesn't follow the the same old same old designs because there there are different types of ship that give you a different the buccaneer class blockade runner baby on page 11 10 11 all these all these ships are fantastic uh, they did they did a fantastic job uh, so this this particular book gets five axes uh, just because uh, one of the things that I judge on is does it, you know, does it do what it is intended to do? And this is, it purports to be uh, ships of the reach and it's exactly what it is. Uh, it is, it is ships of the reach and that's not detracting from it at all. It is, uh, it is a fantastic collection of ships that just happen to reside in the reach. Now, lastly, um, I did want to mention, and I, and I mentioned this in the first review, I wanted to mention the, uh, the map because one of the things that makes the Traveler universe so freaking cool is their enormous collection of maps star charts and stuff because when you when you think about it what would be better uh what would be more prevalent in uh in a game without maps what would be a traveler game without maps and uh, this map is no different it's included with the with the box set and it's got the legend and i mean all the all the good stuff that you might come to expect even though you try to keep your expectations down so you won't be disappointed it has the base type the x-boat route the hex position on a map the empire border the trade route and why did i say x boat route and trade route same word and the the world name down below it like uh and then of course the upp which is the universal planetary profile which is the things that i that i mentioned earlier it's the uh, the planet size the uh, atmosphere the hydrographic uh percentage the population level, the law level, and the tech level, finally, and then the starport size um, or type. And then it's this, this uh, Tassili here, it has a gas giant for refueling because you get those, those big old fuel scoops that come out and the planet, the gas giants. You don't want a rocky planet because then you would, that, that's, that's called a crash and you generally die or or it leads to a good adventure later 
So that is the uh, Ships of the Reach in the uh, Pirates of uh, Drynax boxed set, which is fantastic from Mongoose Publishing. Uh, great guys, great books, more importantly. The, the fact that they're great guys, it's just a happy side effect. Based on uh, the author is uh, Gareth Hanrahan uh, of this book. The developer, of course, is Matthew strange and uh, yeah I just talked to Matt uh, not too long ago and uh, we're going to be doing an interview with him and uh, talking about the traveler stuff and what's what's uh, going to be coming up and stuff like that he's like yay and I'm like yay so Matt's a good guy I think you'll enjoy that so that's that's coming up not too in the not too distant future since we're on the uh, on the traveler flavor I guess <laughs> so uh, that is that and uh, I'm not really sure what's going to be happening next, but it's going to be cool. We we try to keep it positive here, and uh, as I uh, put my my Traveller stuff away, I want to reiterate: it's the Pirates of Drynax, and it's uh, 99.99. It's a bo it's a whole box set with the the, the Trojan Reach. And the books are beautiful too. I mean, uh, as you can see, uh, the Pirates of Drynax, the Traveller. Uh, this is a campaign campaign books. Um, which are not just campaigns. It's not like prefab D&D &D modules where that's all it is with a few new monsters uh, or what have you. It is, uh, it's additional, uh, additional rules and uh, additional material that can be applied to any of your Traveler games, which, you know, the value of that is tremendous. I just, I just, I just love it because they just, uh, you know, let's give them some free information. Let's, uh, well, you're paying for it, but you know, you know what I mean. So, uh, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. Uh, I'm so glad I have it and I couldn't do without it. Um, the next thing we're going to do, uh, we, we rarely do PDFs, but we're going to do the, the Traveler Companion which uh, which is coming up in the, in the next review and it's uh, edition it's a it's a traveler companion it's a it's an additional rule set and and things uh, addendum and such for the for your traveler game and uh, we're gonna be doing that so uh, with that being said on behalf of the entire cast and crew five axes to this guy and uh, we wish for you to want for nothing but adventure and at first I feared it then I charged Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Let the 